How's it going guys? So today's video I'm going to be talking about another expanded deck. The reason why I'm talking about so many expanded decks um, now is because we're going into an expanded format. So the deck that I'm going to be uh, talking about and breaking down today is Seismitoze Viper. Seismitoze Viper, it's kind of like, it falls under the rogue category because of the Viper, but it also, it's like, it's a thing. Like it used to be like Toad, um, Toxic Toad, like uh, Seismic Toad with lasers. Oh, there we go. Toad lasers. Sorry. Um, toad lasers, that was a thing before because you hit them with Toad, then you like parallel, uh, you put them asleep and you poison them with um, with Hypnotoxic Laser. You have Burbank out, so you're getting extra damage out. So, yeah. So, that used to be a thing. Now, Survivor makes it even better because you're getting bigger numbers and you're hitting the numbers that you need to hit. So, instead of waiting, Three to four turns to knock something out. You two turns just pass, knock out, pass, knock out. That's pretty much how the deck works. So yeah. So let's break down this deck and talk about the tips and <clears throat> combos of the deck. All right, guys. So let's get into this deck. <clears throat> For your Pokemon lineup, you're running four Seismitoad with the Quaking Punch attack. Uh, do you want to item lock and not let your opponent play? That's pretty much the that's pretty much what this deck is doing. You also have Force of Viper. It's a Viper's ability, which is uh, more poison. Put an additional poison counter during uh, when, they, when they're taking poison damage. So if you have Hypnotoxic Laser, which is doing uh, 3 damage, 4 damage, and then the, the Stadium, that's 6 damage. So this lets you do an extra damage. Wait, do you take 3 for poison? That's oh, 1. Whatever, so whatever you're taking for poison. <laughs> I'm bad at math. It also is running um, a scrub and a drug gang, drink ganke. Sorry, these Pokemon I don't know how to pronounce. But I'll tell you why they run. The reason why we're running this is because this doesn't let your opponent retreat if they're poisoned. And that's pretty much the gimmick of this deck to poison your opponent's Pokemon. So yeah, it is running two Leles for the, the supporters, uh, to search out the supporters, so that's always good. And it's running one Garatina, because this deck gets sniped by Greninja, so it's to stop Greninja in its tracks. But either way, you have Quaking Punch to stop Greninja anyways, so yeah. For the A-Spec, you're running a Computer Search. Um, you're running the computer search because you want to be able to search out the hidden toxic laser, your Burbank, whatever piece you need to complete the puzzle. That's what you're using this for. So yeah. For your stadiums, you're running four Burbanks, which get, this gives you two extra damage counters when poison is being dealt. So that's how you start adding up numbers. For the supporter line, we have three, six, three Junipers, Two ends, th heavy on the Acerola, so we're running three Acerolas. A Lysander, a Guzma, a Chorus, a Team Flare Grunt, a Karen for the Night March matchup. Teammates, just in case the stuff gets knocked out. But I've noticed that when I played this, my stuff doesn't really get knocked out. And if it does, I don't go for the teammates play. I go for something else. But yeah. And a Skyla. The Skyla, yet again to get that item that you need or that trainer that you need so you can continue completing the pieces of the puzzle because this deck is very like it needs to be running at a hundred percent all the time so if one piece isn't running it kind of slows your play down so I'm going to talk about the things that do poison and that would be the hidden toxic lasers this you flip a coin heads your opponent's pokemon is asleep but automatically it's already poisoned. So your opponent's Pokemon is poison, flip a coin, heads, they're asleep. Poison Barb. If your opponent takes any damage, so if your opponent gets attacked, takes damage, the opponent's Pokemon is poison. And if you have the Burbank and the Survivors, they end their turn, they take poison damage. So yeah, so that's really good. And we have two float stones. Just in case if you're Survivor, you start Survivor, you start Lele, you start something you don't want to start, float stone lets you get out of there. For our items, 
So the ball count, the ball count, we're playing uh, four Ultra Balls and an S Ball. We're also running four VS Seekers. Two Field Glories because Garbotoxin hurts this deck a lot. Garbotoxin will shut off your abilities and that's pretty much that's pretty much it. You got a special charge, a rescue stretcher, and a switch. Um, the rescue stretcher to bring back a survivor if you need to do the extra poison damage or um, to bring back the what's it called? Drag Gangle. Just in case if you want to poison them so they're not able to switch. So yeah. You also have special charge um, to bring back your double colorlesses because this deck only runs for double colorless. So yeah. And the switch, just in case if you need to switch out and you don't have the float stone in hand. So yeah. And like I just mentioned, it does run only four DCs. That's why the special charge does come in handy. The only thing you're attacking with is Seismitoad and sometimes but not always you use one of these to retreat a Viper because the Viper's retreat cost is two if I'm not mistaken it is two so yeah so that's what these are here for but yeah anyways that's the deck breakdown right there there you guys have it that was the breakdown of this Seismitoad Viper deck honestly I think it's a really good deck I think it's very underrated a lot of people don't really see how or why it works and I understand why people don't want to run it because Galissapod is a thing and this thing loses very hard to Galissapod. Um, there's honestly like there's no really way around Galissapod. Like the only thing is if they first impression you, you have to no no you you pretty much auto lose this to, to Galissapod. Honestly, like in all fairness, you auto lose this to Galissapod. But besides that. It stops everything else in the format. It stops Darkrai, it stops Dark Mar Night March, it stops um, Rayquaza. Like, honestly, Rayquaza, you item lock them and that's it. Unless they go super ham first and they get one or two Mega Raids out, then you, you're in a kind of tough situation. But besides that, you have them where you want them. Um, let's see yeah so that's pretty much it guys thank you guys for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already make sure to share the video if anybody wants to know how seismitoad survivor is being ran or how to play it correctly because pretty much you just want to keep uh you want them an item lock and you want them poisoned pretty much and you want to be able to search out uh your, your pieces to poison when necessary so yeah guys like always Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.